And so hi, this is Nick, talking to you and spending time with you now. In this powerful self-hypnosis for cherishing, embracing and living in the present moment. Which I have written to help you set aside any and all daytime distractions. And slow down your spinning mind. So that you can enjoy a smooth, soothing and swift immersion into your deepest sleep. And so if you have a tendency to look to the past with regret or with remorse, or a tendency to anxiously predict the future, you might find this session will help bring your focus and attention back to the present and soften any of those uneasy thoughts and feelings that, as we both know so well, often become a little more persistent and a little more bothersome at the end of the day. And so whether you're listening now to set aside any of those unsettling sensations, or whether you're simply looking for some soothing companionship in winding down before bedtime, please remember that I have created this relaxing hypnosis in the spirit, and with the good intention, of course, that wherever you are in the world, whatever you are facing, and wherever you are going, tomorrow will be a better day than today. And so before we start to begin, go ahead and take a few moments now to get yourself nicely relaxed in a place or location where you'll be safe and undisturbed over the coming while. Settle into the position that instinctively feels just right. The position that will enable you to rest back and most comfortably and most easily follow the sound of my voice and tune in to my guiding words, which you may find reassuring to think of over this coming time we spend together as those being spoken by a trusted guide, by a special kind of confidant, or an old friend, or perhaps even by your very own personal chaperone, who is so happy to accompany you in this descent into your deepest relaxation. And this is a journey you can start with the simple recognition that this is not only your time, but also the right time now to give yourself any permissions you feel you may require to truly enjoy this most valuable and most refreshing time out, which will give you all you need in so many different ways and on so many levels. As you begin to ease away from all daytime distractions and move your focus, your senses and all energies away from the outside world and towards the familiar, homely rhythms that reside within your own inner spaces. And before you become too drowsy, before your mind begins to wander, before that lucid and surreal dreaminess takes over, I'd like to start by saying that although I do not know you personally, I do know that because you're here with me now, that you truly are curious about hypnosis and that you are wondering how much you will enjoy and benefit from this relaxing trance.
And I know also that you have been anticipating just how enlightening this voyage of inner discovery will be and just how quickly and easily you will fall asleep. Which, of course, is a very good thing. And because you're curiously wondering and anticipating like this, you're going to find it so much easier, of course, to let go of any feelings of anxiety or unease, to calm and quieten your mind, and to transition into your deepest, most refreshing overnight slumber. And if you are new to hypnosis, or even if you are already familiar with entering and enjoying this altered state of what some say is focused relaxation, and what others sometimes like to call relaxed focus, and whether it's relaxed focus or focused relaxation, or somewhere in between, you will already know there is a part of you, apart from the part that is logical and rational, which can part from everyday consciousness and slip away so easily into intense relaxation. Because, you know, people often know that they know, in some way or other, and many times without even realising that they really do know all kinds of knowledge they don't necessarily know consciously. And those people, they nearly always find that knowing that subconsciously means, of course, that they so willingly embrace and enter hypnosis like this, and that they cannot resist the deep inner relaxation and healing that comes from a deep immersion into trance. And so whether you are consciously allowing your subconscious to follow my words and my voice here, or whether you have subconsciously decided that this is not only the time, but the right time to consciously tune in and pay attention. It is to this part of your consciousness that I am talking to now. The part that is so adept, so skillful, at easing you down towards the end of the day. The part of you that, if asked, could state the exact state that will most easily and most intuitively bring to you those deepest and sleepiest moments. So I invite and ask that part of you that knows that you know to place you into that special relaxed place. Now, and so as you sit or lay back, perhaps with your arms by your sides, or placed lightly across your lap, and as you become familiar with the rhythmical tones of my voice, you may already feel as though, if they haven't already done so of course, your tired eyes do so want to close. Or maybe you're sensing, somewhere within, an awareness or recognition of some kind of growing perception that there's an emerging change in your internal rhythms, perhaps an almost imperceptible but nevertheless intuitive signal that those blinking eyelids are feeling so, so heavy. Or 
although it really doesn't matter whether your eyes are already closed, whether they are slowly beginning to close now, or whether instead you are simply allowing your gaze to drift away into the distance, just somewhere over there, perhaps with your eyelids in that dreamy, half-closed position that you know, and I know, and everybody knows, feels so, so good. Because simply knowing that you know you can choose to close your eyes now, or that you know you can choose to close them in just a short while, in itself is so relaxing and refreshing. Isn't it? Because there's no rush. There's no pressure to fall asleep here and now. And there really is no right or wrong way to enjoy this gentle hypnosis. You can follow and go with the flow in your own way. Responding in whatever way feels the most natural, the most instinctive, and the most intuitive. As you trust your subconscious to know what it knows, and to deliver to you the most relevant and the most personal meanings. because you won't need me to tell you that these meanings and learnings they always seem to come a little more easily when you begin to relax and wind down and when your awareness moves away from all outside activities and towards those subconsciously familiar inner sensations perhaps to the gradual slowing down of your breathing, to the gentle coming and going of those easy inhalations and those easy exhalations that you sense are already starting to become a little longer, a little lighter, and a little deeper than before. And without any conscious thought or attention, simply trusting in your subconscious, higher self to find the tempo or cadence that brings to you your most expansive and growing sense of peaceful serenity. And you might find also, as it all begins to settle, And as it all begins to calm, that those transitions between each in-breath and each out-breath and between each out-breath and each in-breath are where true inner peace, true inner harmony really lie. That's right. Right there in those deeper, expanding spaces where you're neither inhaling nor exhaling. Just existing and simply being. Free from conscious waking thoughts. Free from all emotion and feeling. those delightful voids into which you can insert your awareness and your own entire sense of being. As though you're living in between the tick and the tock of an old antique grandfather clock. 
in those timeless moments of peaceful tranquility, into which you might silently whisper to yourself an encouraging or compassionate word. Or into which you might insert a positive thought. Or a vision of your very best, happiest self. Or quite simply, you can use these precious moments to become increasingly mindful that the path towards your deepest rest and to your brightest future really does begin to clear when your mind becomes still, when your mind becomes quiet, and when you allow this self-created blanket of calm to completely envelop you holding you safely and securely in this very moment, where you're no longer able to reflect regretfully or to forecast fearfully. Just embracing the pure energy and power of the present that is no longer misdirected towards past, past events or events that have yet to happen as you just luxuriate in this blissful sensation of being alone with yourself here now, aware only of the soothing beating of your heart and the subtle, familiar and comforting sensations that come with each new, longer, slower, deeper passing breath. That's right. You're noticing with a little more detail the gentle expansion of your tummy, the texture, the temperature, the speed, and even the soft vibrations of that cool air as it flows in through your nose, warms momentarily inside and then flows out through your slightly open mouth. And whether you are still consciously creating that long, lazy breathing rhythm, or whether it is happening all by itself now, at a subconscious inner level somewhere, you're trusting in those longer, lighter inhalations and exhalations to bring to you such lovely feelings of peace and calm and to direct this inner refreshment, energy and healing to whichever parts of your mind and body might need that extra attention. And so I bring to you now, in these moments of growing inner stillness, questions that you may or may not have previously considered or contemplated, but that are profoundly simple and simply profound on so many inner and outer levels. the first of which is what does it really mean to be you as you rest back here in this very moment, right now, in this present moment of timeless purity, where you're free from any emotion that comes from looking to the past or to the future. What does it truly mean to be you, and just you, when you're free from your identity, and even from your given name, free from others' needs 
expectations and opinions. Free from your needs, expectations and opinions also. When you're no longer connected to -to day-to-day tasks and responsibilities. When you're connected only to your own internal rhythms and energies. And to those of the greater universe that flow around you. And as you ponder that question, you might find yourself wondering also, where exactly does your mind go in these moments of inner solitude? To where exactly does your awareness venture? Where does your thought energy flow when it is no longer directed towards the outside world? Where does it go at times like this, in these transitioning moments, when you're not quite asleep and not quite awake, when you're immersed in this blissful cocoon of your own healing and protective comfort? Or you may find yourself thinking, that a better question to present to your all-knowing higher self might be. Where do you want that energy to flow? Where would you like, either consciously or subconsciously, to steer your inner awareness right now? Are there any deeper parts within that need healing? or refreshment, or rejuvenation, or maybe even reprogramming. So why don't you now go ahead and take this opportunity within this beautiful trance where you're so safe and secure and so well protected to spend a few moments just simply becoming and being you in your most natural, authentic form, however that might be. Just giving your subconscious the permission to respond in whichever way it so chooses, to conjure up and deliver Whatever imagery, thoughts or sensations instinctively come to mind. As you float through all of your inner levels and descend through all of those secluded or hidden personal spaces that house so much energy and potential. Just uncovering and rediscovering the real you. The ambitious, confident and resilient you. The you that is kind, compassionate and understanding. Capable, resourceful and motivated. And so very grateful and happy. And you can ask your subconscious also to bring to the surface any of these forgotten inner strengths and to clear all of the internal pathways and corridors that may have become overgrown over the years. So those powerful and positive ambitions and passions and expectations that may have lost their way or been suppressed over time, are no longer obstructed by fears and anxieties, or limiting beliefs, 
or feelings of self-doubt and insecurity that originated only in misunderstandings and falsehoods. And the process of overwriting those old, outdated patterns with fresh, new positivity starts right here and right now with the release back into your consciousness of all of those lost or hidden feelings of hope and belief and inspiration and confidence and motivation as though you're prizing open an old treasure chest that has laid buried for so long and which contains so many forgotten riches. Or maybe as though you're untying the bow on a beautifully wrapped gift that you have always wanted, that you're opening now with such excitement and anticipation. And as you invite and welcome this flow of hope and positive expectation into your inner spaces, as your relaxing and quietening mind meanders into those safer sanctuaries, these sensations, they may come to you in a way that you can consciously recognize and appreciate. Perhaps with the feeling that your mind has become so calm now and so free. Or maybe those sensations, they may come to you in a way that only your higher self can understand. Perhaps in a pulse of energy, in the creation of new neurological pathways or perhaps with a greater connection to the universe's healing pulses. A connection that will enable you to find hope, positivity, expectation, and even love everywhere in and around you. Perhaps in a delightful moment frozen in time, by an old family photograph, in the innocent memories of a carefree childhood, the real or remembered touch of a parent, a lover or a child, a line from a favourite poem or book that holds special meaning, the elegant chords in a piece of calming classical music, or in the lyrics of an emotive song that has time-stamped a certain part of your life with such pure joy. And because you are now connecting to and embracing this very special rejuvenating energy through this trance and hypnosis, through sleep's unlimited overnight healing benefits, and through the enhanced awareness and welcoming absorption of the universe's rhythms and pulses. A new clarity and peace of mind begins to emerge with this deeper refreshment and repair. And with it, an ability to see more clearly, to more easily visualise and realise your happy and successful future and to more easily organise and apply any of those daytime thoughts and ideas into something tangibly positive and inspiring. A new interest or hobby, a new life goal, a plan for self-development and improvement in sport, in business, or in a relationship, 
or quite simply even, the clearer vision of you living your most satisfied and successful life. And as you continue to relax and journey deeper and deeper down, in those quietening and settling spaces, all of those thoughts and ideas begin to self-organise and align, like a blurred photograph slowly coming into focus, and become a productive energy that flows with waves of such powerful positivity. delivering a sensation of lightness that accompanies the feeling of being able to float so freely away. Or the heaviness to sink deeper and deeper into that supportive surface below you. Down into your most intense relaxation. And into a feeling of healing replenishment that encompasses your entire being. As you feel that energy flowing so easily and naturally from your mind to your body. As though a ball of warm light is moving in and around you from head to toe. And if there are indeed any areas of your body that need special attention, any particular stresses and strains or aches and pains that are calling out to you on some kind of level or in some kind of way for a deeper kind of healing. You might like to imagine holding in your hands now that warm, glowing globe that fits so perfectly there into your palms. And you can twist and turn and manipulate this ball of energy. Shaping and moving it there in your hands. Feeling and absorbing its healing warmth and texture. That feels just right to you. Because this golden orb you're holding here. Really is a manifestation of your own energy and maybe even that of the greater universe, transmitting that warm golden light and heat into your palms. Can you feel that healing, soothing energy? And so whenever you are ready, you can take that golden orb in your hands and using the power of your imagination or in your mind's eye, move that warmth gently across the top of your head and along your temples, down onto your forehead and across your brow and down into your neck smoothing out all of those fibres and tendons that can so easily become tense and tight. Moving down to your shoulders and across the top of your back. That healing warmth gliding across those larger upper body muscles and across your chest. Just enjoying that warmth radiating so deeply into those firmer areas. Down your arms. Through those tight forearms. And into your hands. All tension and tightness. Just dissolving. Upon its rejuvenating touch which is just the right temperature 
and travelling at just the right speed. As that golden orb moves across your hips and pelvis area, around the top of those thighs, in whatever way feels good, and in whatever way feels right to you, right now. Maybe in a circular motion, or straight up and down, down into those tighter calves, and gliding across the soles of your feet. All of that delightful warmth flowing upwards into your soles and up through your body. And if there remains a certain body part or area that you sense is still in need of some extra attention, using your mind's focusing awareness now, you can gently release that warm orb and just going with the flow of your subconscious intuition, allow that glowing ball of energy to move wherever it wants. Trusting in your higher self to apply that healing to wherever it is most needed. To deliver just the right level of pressure. As though a masseur's skilled and experienced hands are brushing across your body, easing away all tensions with that beautiful healing heat. As you perhaps find yourself contemplating now, how powerful and magical it really is to be able to self-soothe and to self-calm like this. To be able to cleanse and repair and refresh your mind and body solely with your own instinctive and intuitive breaths using the immense powers of your imagination and all internal and external energies to clear all physical or mental tension And as you continue to enjoy this winding down of mind, body and spirit, I wonder if you can imagine now, standing at the top of a beautiful grassy mountain, looking out over a glorious valley of towering trees, bubbling streams, waterfalls and meadows that leads to a distant white sandy beach and a still turquoise blue lagoon. And it's a beautiful spring day. The flowers and trees are dotted with hues of pink and yellow and peach. And the aroma of spring's blossoming energies waft across your consciousness. as you take crisp, clean mountain air deep into your lungs. And you're making your way down this gently undulating terrain. Every step down in this smooth descent, bringing you even greater ease and relaxation. late afternoon sun brushing against your cheeks and across your forehead. The delightful warmth softened by a gentle breeze. And you're just taking your own sweet time strolling along. In your own way and at your own pace and rhythm. Casually observing the changing tones of the countryside as the sun begins its slow descent, casting long dark shadows 
and rich, deep colours. As thin white clouds make their final days pass across the horizon. And those soothing, healing rays become even softer and even gentler. Every sunbeam releasing all worries and tensions. Melting away all stresses. Soothing all of the muscles in your face and across your jaw. As you just enjoy this peaceful descent. Surrounded by all the beauty of nature. The trickling sound of a nearby stream. Birds chirping happily overhead. The unique scent of exotic flowers. A plethora of happy and calming sounds, sights and sensations. And you're just so happy to witness daylight turning into dusk. As you think to yourself, how beautifully soothing and calming it is to be out in the fresh air like this. With no concerns and no responsibilities. Other than let your mind ease down and drift away internally. as you walk so effortlessly and so easily. As though you're floating down this lush hillside. Almost as if on air. That beautiful lightness of step, mirroring the freedom of your wandering mind, that is drifting only to positive places and in positive directions now. And with every passing step, you're almost bouncing with such light energy. In this tranquil setting, where you feel so safe and so secure. Just enjoying this solitary experience of inner enlightenment as you find yourself stepping out now onto that white, sandy beach. Onto soft grains that have been so beautifully warmed by the late afternoon sun. Every step spreading that healing heat into the soles of your feet. As off over there somewhere, Somewhere beyond the still serenity of that turquoise mill pond. The parting sun is bestowing crimson, purple and orange hues against the distant horizon. Is there any feeling more relaxing, more heartwarming and more enriching? laying back on a beautiful beach, watching the sunset, watching the events of the day, and all lingering concerns or thoughts just drift away, knowing that another day comes with the promise of fresh hope and new opportunity. as you simply rest back now and allow sleep's irresistible call to beckon you into its protective fold, into your personal haven of healing, your own private inner sanctuary, where your mind overnight can recharge and refresh and absorb all of your intuitive inner wisdom.
where you can float so peacefully and explore whenever you are ready all of the hidden levels and floors of your loving and welcoming subconscious. Because as you gaze upwards now, towards a black canvas sprinkled with stars, you really are ready to be cleansed, refreshed and healed by your body's soothing and calming patterns. as any lingering, distracting or negative thoughts just drift away. And as you just float into the purest, deepest sleep, carrying you so soundly and so gently as all of the beautiful sounds and vistas of the countryside and the universe settle around and within you, soothing and guiding and nurturing you to complete rest. Because you're free now to so beautifully enjoy this upcoming deep sleep and to dream with such positive hope and expectation while you heal and replenish so fully and so wholly from within. As you just flow deeper and deeper and deeper. And so all that remains now is for me to wish you a very good night. Sleep well, my listening and resting friend. And until the next time, with my deepest and with my very best regards, Nick. <laughs>